Some time ago, I got this little radio at a recycling place. It was made by a brand called SuperTech, and it's a multi-band radio. Well, what does that mean? That means that you can receive everything between 1 megahertz and 176 megahertz. So you can receive um, the amateur broadcast. And in Germany, it's called CB radio. I don't know how you call that. Uh, then you can receive television. Of course, only the tone of the television, because <laughs> this is a radio, um, analog television. Um, so here in Germany, we can't receive anything, uh, because, well, analog television um, does not exist anymore in Germany. Then, of course, FM radio. And finally, um, something that is called, in, on this radio, it's called... Uh, Air and PB. I don't know what that means, um, but um, here it says weather, so we are going to see what's going on there. Now first, here we have the speaker, of course, then a big dial. On the top side, we have the tuning, volume, and on and off switch, and a squelch regulator. I don't know what that does, the squelch. If you turn it up too high, it for some reason cuts off the audio. I don't know what that is. On the back side, we have the battery compartment. Um, when I got this, the batteries were in the process of, you know, oxidizing and running out. Um, so this is not in the best shape. Then we have a uh, band selector for, for um, well, air, WB, PB, TV1, FM, and CB. Of course, the radio has also an antenna. You can see it's pretty long. And now, let's turn this unit on. We'll use the external power because the battery compartment, it doesn't want to work. Um, not really. <laughs> okay, let's turn this on. Well, it's a little bit oxidized. So now we'll do a little tour around, well, around the air. <laughs> um, we'll start at 1 megahertz and, well, we'll go on until 176. So let's start. Um, we can receive something. I'm going to turn the volume up. Let's see. Uh, it's late at night so that we can receive the AM better, but huh, there's pretty much nothing going on there. Huh. Now that is sad. Uh, this afternoon I was able to receive something at CB. Now, we'll go down again and start at 54 megahertz. As you can see, it's um, hissing. I think back in 2007 we would have been able to listen to television tone here, but now there is nothing. Now, these tones you can hear, I think they are now using the the old television um, frequency range for mobile phones. So that's what you're hearing there. Okay. Well, now I'm a little bit confused. Because, um, well, that's definitely not television tone, and it's not FM radio, and this is also not handy.
so the big question is, what's that? Well, this sounds good. So let's go on. Huh. Okay, now we are reaching the FM um, frequency range. little bit of disco music and this is my favorite radio station Radio 21 Classic Rock they are playing a lot of non-stop um, 70s and 80s music programs it's really nice to record on cassette well, Okay, already seven minutes, so I'll have to hurry. Now, let's go down again to 108 megahertz. Um, now, this is called the air um, frequency range. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, wow, well, what's that? Huh. A little bit of hum from a transformer, maybe. Now the PB frequency range. Hmm, nothing going on there. And, well, that's it. Well, hmm, where it says weather, there's also nothing. Well, hmm, don't know. So, well, as you can see, um, there is not much going on on air, except for FM and, very weird, the, um, the upper TV range. Maybe the dial is a little bit damaged so that it, well, hmm. But, um, well... So, this is this little radio. Um, it's a nice little radio. Um, super tech, multiband radio. Has no model number or something. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video.